so to continue with our euro millions he didn't do too well he's only got a loss of 97 percent and an accuracy of 20 percent but it'll do for our purposes so let's have a look we then take the head take the results of the last three games to predict then we need to remove the last so we drop the last game the last draw yeah and then we print out the ones that we're going to be looking at these are the last two games here then we want to predict the head so we push it back in we have to change the format we have to rescale for our prediction so we've now got the numbers of our prediction of the last two games we've transformed them scaled them into numbers that we can put through our train neural network so let's do that predict the numbers so the predicted numbers in the last lottery game are so they're the predicted numbers we look at the actual numbers in the last lottery game so the predicted numbers for the using the last two games was 7 16 25 33 42 4 and 8 the actual numbers in the last lottery game were 7 which we've got a match 12 were a bit off 19 were a bit off 33 spot on 43 were one off so that's called a near miss and then we've got near misses on the stars as well so this is where playing a syndicate comes in if you're playing a syndicate it's good to play the near misses because they often come up the neural network will will often this has got two numbers so that means i get you get a free go next time yeah but if you if you played if you're a syndicate and you played say five tickets or two tickets you may have even more numbers because you may have put you at 42 you may have put, played some near misses and put that as a 43 you see and same with these so it's good to play near misses from what has been predicted so that's quite good that it's got two numbers predicted seven and 33 and a near miss on the 43 so it will have got me another lucky dip and uh, on the uh, on some lot on lotteries not all and so there you go two numbers not bad for a simple <laughs> only 50 egg pox only 20 percent accuracy so it just shows you you're not overfitting you know sometimes it's best not to have a good accuracy and you, you, you know because these neural networks they can predict stuff they can find relationships um because a lot of you know nothing's truly random this is supposed to be impossible but you know if it's impossible, we need to do it. <laughs> we need to make the impossible possible. Yeah. Lucky dip. Fantastic.